three, two, one, go. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. I have been missing in action. Oh, I tell you. My, my, what can the matter be? Three old ladies stuck in a lavatory. They've been there from Monday to Saturday. What in the world will they do? I'm so sorry I've been missing in action, and I do not want to concentrate this video on negativity, but the reason I've been missing in action, it just seems that tragedy is following my family all the time, and my kid brother, who we all absolutely adore, is in very bad shape in an induced coma, and that's all I'm going to say about it, and so please, prayers, prayers, prayers requested, we're all sitting here on pins and needles, and that's why I haven't really been doing videos, as I'm sure you can all understand. Anyway, so first of all, I have to let everybody know who the winner is, um, and then I want to do some... I was going to do my uh, July favorites, no, yeah, my July favorites, but it's, it's kind of late, and I'm not really in the, I'm not really in the July favorites kind of a mood, my mood is fine, uh, other than very sad, but, um, so what happened, <laughs> sorry my life, a funny thing happened on Saturday, what happened on Saturday concerning the winner of my huge giveaway, uh -huh, um, is that Holly Woggle was going to come over and pull a name from one of my many, many hats. But it turned out that I was having an unexpected guest, and that unexpected guest was one of my granddaughters. And I don't get to see my grandchildren very often because of the circumstances of things around here. And so I was just thrilled. So on Saturday, I had an absolutely amazing day with my younger son, Paddy, P-A-D-D-Y, and his daughter, Kat. Catherine. And this little girl, she's like a little diva. And speaking of divas, we're going to get to another diva later. And uh, so she came over here and she was, she just loved makeup and she loved jewelry. And we had a blast and she didn't even want to go home. And so while she was here, and she does watch my videos, um, I decided to let Kat pick the winner of my video since Holly couldn't come over because my granddaughter was here. But I hadn't had time to cut all the names up and everything else and with, with everything that's been going on. So I opened up the, uh, I opened up the, the, the video and I walked away and my son was laughing and I told Kat, I said, okay, look at all the names, look at all the names and just pick a, pick a picture, pick something, pick, pick a number and just tell me who you want and don't read anything. Just, just, um, because, because I had been replying to quite a few of them. And the first thing she said was, Nana, well, your name is all... I said, no, no, never mind my name. So then she told me, she says, okay, I picked the winner. So I told her, I said, okay, write the winner down on a piece of paper. And she wrote it down on this little rainbow pad that I gave her that she took home with her. And so she says, okay. So I said, okay. So she gave me the, she gave me the piece of paper. And on the piece of paper was an initial, O. Oh, I go, oh, so I said, oh, I said, the person's name is O, and she goes, yeah, her name is O, and she goes, oh, I spelt it wrong, she says, there's another letter with it, so I'm going, Wh whose name is O, I don't have Oprah Winfrey on my, on my channel, anyways, oh, Carol, you're the winner, and I don't even know if my style of, of my, uh, I don't know if you're going to really go for these, my Infinity earrings, because I know that you're much more eclectic, but I really do hope that you find an occasion to wear them. So that's one. And please excuse my nails, because I'm going to do my nails um, tonight before I go back to dialysis tomorrow, because I can't even stand looking at them. I've been picking them. And so that's one of the prizes. The other prize is more up Carol's Alley. And, um, and I was hoping that whoever won my, my, uh, some people told me not to enter them because they don't have pierced ears. Oh, where is it? Anyway, and the other prize is a pair of beautiful gold plated hoops and they're made really, really well. And I know Carol that you'll enjoy those. And I'll also be throwing in some other little goodies now that I know who the winner is. So, so, oh, Carol, and I don't know Carol. I know you won something off of uh, Sharon Capehart, but I don't think Carol's ever won anything. So, yay, Carol! 
and a girl so you won so you have to PM me with your uh, with your address and everything else um, and it's all thanks to my granddaughter cat that you won this so okay hi cat I know you're gonna be watching this video anyway so that's that and then the other thing I want to talk about was um, one of one of our YouTube members became famous overnight on Monday anyways I uh, Natalie my tinker head she called me and she was all excited for Melissa 55 because apparently Melissa was on the news one of her videos went viral she went from she had like hundreds of thousands of views on one of her videos her hair bump video there and she was called the most beautiful 60 year old woman on YouTube and I've always said that and Natalie's always said that we've all said that and so Melissa I am so thrilled for you I am so friggin thrilled for you you have no idea because you are the most beautiful 60 year old on YouTube well I, th I think you're just the most beautiful woman on YouTube inside and out I'm talking about you're just gorgeous you're just like not down dead gorgeous you're the kind of woman everybody wants to hate but we all love you so there's that news and um then I wanted to, and then I, I was watching Melissa's, uh, I was watching Melissa's video uh, before this happened on, on, uh, I've been having a love affair with, with Physician's Formula with the, um, the, uh, the BB cream and using my IT foundation. And don't anybody ever buy an IT foundation from anybody on eBay, I'll tell you about that maybe another time. But anyway, so Melissa was talking about this cream to powder or powder to cream foundation so I went on my well.ca which is my Canadian drugstore where I buy a lot of my products because I can't get out and gallivant around and they didn't have the Maybelline but they had the Revlon and I love Revlon products and I was talking to Natalie this morning because we talk every single morning and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be starting to talk with Natalie in a minute and I ordered this I ordered this I couldn't wait to try it because Melissa was going on and on and on and so I ordered a Revlon this thing is the most amazing foundation I have ever used in my life. And I thought it was too dark. I ordered it in um, some kind of undertone. And I looked at it and I said, oh my God, I'm going to have to use that as a contour cream. It is, I'm wearing it now. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I used it with my Beauty Blend sponger. And it's, it's just a cream and it is, oh my God. So for anybody who's having trouble finding foundations that they don't like, I just put on my, uh, what did I put on? I put on my moisturizer. I put on, um, I put on my primer. I put on this and then I put on my it. And getting to my it, I have a, a very, um, someone that I buy quite a bit of stuff off of. I'm getting, I want to show you something else. On eBay. And she's a really, really great lady. And she's never, never sold me anything that was, that was rancid or bad or anything but I had been trying to get a knit compact for a barboon and I contacted her and she said yes she could get one and she didn't know and she even gave me a she gave me a refund but I got a I got a knit compact and it was hard pan in other words I don't know how old it was she didn't know how old it was I guess I, it came with with no box or, in, or no I think it came with a box but as soon as I put the little pad on it, I couldn't get any. And so I took the little eye thing you do your eyebrows and I scraped it off and everything else. And, uh, I, and every time I use this thing, I have to. So whenever you're buying a compact, I buy a lot of things off of eBay from this one seller. And I have tried to give her a link to people and I can't. I know how to do links, but there's, this woman has made it impossible. I'm sorry. For me to, every time I try to do her link, the thing just moves. Uh, but it's e Lori Boutique. Anyways, and my latest purchase from her has been this, which I had fun with my granddaughter on Saturday. I call it my angel dust. And all you do with this is you just, um, you just, actually you don't put me on. You just put it all over your face. And it makes you sparkle. And so you go down your decollete, and you just, and it just makes you shine. And one of my favorite expressions is shine on. And this is a, um, it's a, a, a collector's item for Estee Lauder. And they come in absolutely beautiful, beautiful com compacts. Mine is just sort of a, it's a plain compact, but I just love it. It's, it's, it's brand new. I mean, it's fresh. It's, it's, 
just lovely. So it's just something fun to, you know, if you feel like putting fairy dust on your face. The other things, okay, that's so that's fine. So run to your nearest drugstore. Run, I tell you, run. And get either the Maybelline or get one of these powder to creams or cream to powder foundations and try it. But um, like I said, I tried it with my beauty blender. I don't know how it would be with a brush. And then I got what I'm wearing in my eyes today is a physician's formula. A physician's formula. A little eyeshadow palette. And it's called, whoops, I just dropped the brush. It's just called a, a shimmer palette. It's got all little colors. See? Don't look at my nails, please. And it's got all all the colors. I It's for green eyes. And it's got all the colors, like mauves and greens and pale greens and everything else. And so I put that on and I put on a bit of, I put on a bit of, um, not tinsel. Uh, you know, the, 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 the stuff, the wet stuff there, the whatever. And then I also got, see how cute, I love, I love their packaging. I also got, and you get this cute little thing in the bottom. I also got the face shimmer, the face shimmer things. And you can use this as a highlighter. You can use it as an eyeshadow. You can use it for brightening up your eyeshadow. You can use this little sucker for anything. So I put it where you put your highlighter instead of my Fergie. And I'm loving that. And I'm going to find a lot of uses for that. So, so much for makeup. And how long have I talked? Okay, now. I sort of wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about with what I've been going through and my, my, and my family, but my family, I'm not really allowed, I'm not allowed to speak about anything on YouTube because my family gets very upset. They're very private people and they really get upset with me if I talk about anything that's going on. So I basically, I don't want to just talk about myself, but I'm, I'm stuck in that position because they won't let me talk about them. So I am going out of my mind over my brother and my very close friend, Natalie, the beauty diva. And I know a lot of people on YouTube are very close friends, but Natalie and I have become really, really close. I mean, really close. We talk every day. Sometimes we talk five times. Between her and Holly, I am the luckiest woman in the world. I have my sister living downstairs. I'm going down there for supper. My sister is very supportive. But with, with uh, Natalie, we don't just talk about makeup anymore. We, we talk about everything. And the reason I want to talk about Natalie is because Natalie got a couple of, she had a couple of comments and she told me and she was kind of hurt by them. And they weren't bad comments or anything. Um, one of the comments was um, something like, you know, she looks like she has her act so together and 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 everything else. And, uh, and, the, and the other thing is, is that, um, I don't know, I guess a lot of people think that Natalie is just this perfect woman who has no problems. Well, you know, in this life, there's nobody, not one of us has no problems. Natalie went to hell and back 10 years ago. She almost didn't make it. She almost didn't make it. She never talks about it. Some people are like that. Some people keep their lives very private. And that's the way Natalie chooses to do her channel. She wants to keep her channel just focusing on makeup and beauty. And she doesn't want to keep going back into her past. And you know what? That's fine. That's her choice. But I'll tell you one thing. Natalie has got to be the best one I have ever met in my life. She replies to every, every single subby who writes to her. I can call Natalie on a Sunday morning. She, <clears throat> she might spend five or six or seven or eight or I don't know. She might spend the whole day Sunday because she's got like 4,000 subscribers now. And she's only been on a year. And that's all due to Natalie and Carol's list. Okay? There's not a lot of people calling Natalie out. There's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of people. She doesn't have any big, big gurus, uh, gurus giving. I'm so sorry, gurus shouting her out or anything like that. She's just so dedicated to her channel, and she answers every single subby, every single one of them. And as far as I'm concerned, I mean. You know, and, and she doesn't do editing. She doesn't do anything. And she often says to me, you know, I don't understand why I have so many subscribers. And I said, because you work your damn ass off and because people just love you. And she can't really accept the fact that people love her. And that's another story. But I love Natalie very, very much. And I hope that you all do too. 
and I don't think it's fair to judge somebody by the way they look because we don't all have it together we, we really don't we don't all have it together everybody has problems whoa everybody has sorry my computer just went black so we all have problems and Natalie I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart how much I love you and how great your support has been for me in the past week and a half two weeks regarding my brother and also Holly and my sister and you know um, there's no words that can express I uh, my air conditioning went off in here yesterday because somebody had put it up and it fell out of the window next thing I know I have my niece up my niece came up last night she I had so much cat hair in my fan and I didn't have a vacuum because I don't have a vacuum um, and she vacuumed out my fan for me Holly came charging over with some thick thick duct tape fix my air conditioner I thought I was gonna die yesterday we're having a heat wave here and I'm not gonna sing the heat wave song again though no. and we're having a really bad heat wave which I'm praying is gonna stop tomorrow so anyways I have gone on for I guess 18 or 19 minutes but basically I just wanted to say congratulations to Carol for winning and I'll be you're gonna PM me with your address and there are gonna be a couple of things in that I know you will like and um, and I'm going to try to find that piece of paper where my where my uh, granddaughter picked out your name and she put the letter O and she put O and then she put an exclamation mark and that was that was that was so hilarious because I didn't have a clue what she was talking about and uh, and like I said my son would not let her be I I was recording this I was recording this on my iPod and then my son said oh no 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 you you can't do that and he was recording us he was recording us recording to each other but my son and I don't blame him because my my niece is nine, and uh, I don't want all these perverts looking at my grandchildren. You know, on Facebook, it's one thing, but when you're live on YouTube, you know, and that's, I guess that's why my family doesn't want me talking about them. But I'm sorry, when something is, is bothering me, it affects, it affects me. You can see it in my face, and we all have brothers and sisters, and, and we, we love our brothers and sisters. And when one of them is in crisis, we're in crisis. It's like Kate just went through a crisis with her father or her mother. And, you know, there's always somebody going through a crisis. So I would ask you all to please, please pray for my brother. He's only 63. Um, it's not looking good at all. But, uh, you know, we have, to think, uh, we have to think positively. And who knows what the outcome is going to be. And I want, I want you, I want all of you to know how much I love Natalie, the beauty diva. And what a great, great gal she is. She's really, she's really something else. She really is. She's not just all, she's not just all fluff and sugar. And, and she's far, far deeper than that. And I want to congratulate Melissa again. And um, so I guess that's it for me. I shall be coming to you in a couple of days. It's so good to get back on here and do a video. I just couldn't get my head straight, straightened out enough. Um, between the crying and the being hysterical and everything else and then I had a crisis on Monday I was in dialysis on Monday next thing I know I've got oxygen stuck up my nose I'm rushed down to the emergency room they told me I had a heart attack I don't believe I had a heart attack but I've got the ECG here and they kept me down there for three hours and I just said I'm not staying I feel fine I wasn't having trouble breathing I wasn't having chest pains but they told me my heart was I said look I'm under a lot of pressure so I don't know what that was all about but I have to go see a cardiologist but I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, so I love you all. Um, I hope this video made some kind of sense. I just wanted to give a lot of love to my, God, I'm sorry, a cat hair and with the air conditioning going on. I wanted to give a lot of love to, to my Tinkerhead and Holly. Of course, Holly's always there for me. And um, wish you all a really blessed weekend. Take care of yourselves. Um, and if you're having a heat wave like we are, I hope that yours is over soon. Because like I said, ours is supposed to be over tomorrow. So that's it for me. Over and out. Love you all. Mwah! And um, my next video I'm going to tell you is somebody's. I've been, oh, I've been getting a lot of PMs from very special people. And been answering those. And uh, there's somebody who is, I'm, I'm not allowed to say. See, this is something else I'm not allowed to say. But one of my subscribers is a jewelry maker and she's making me something very beautiful. And I just can't wait to see it because I've never seen anything so beautiful. So I'm not allowed to mention her name. You see, like, I'm a tarot. Oh, and that's the other thing. 
my tarot card reading is going to be open as soon as we know what's happening with my brother. I have been doing tarot card readings, but I can't right now because uh, I'm just going to be pulling out a lot of negative cards because of the way I feel. So that's going to be open, and I'm going to be doing a special video on that. Okay? So I love you all. Mwah! Have a great weekend. Oh, my God, I hope this thing came out. I just really do hope this thing came out, and I hope I wasn't too much of a gas bag. But anyway, bye. Oh, and this is what I'm doing my fingernails with. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So that's what I'll be doing later on this evening. I gotta keep, and, and the other thing is I've been keeping my mind occupied. You know when you're full of sadness and stuff like that? I just turn on YouTube. I turn on YouTube or Criminal ID and I just, I just sponge it all up. I just sponge it all up because it's my therapy. It's my therapy. And you're my therapy. And I really, really thank all of you. Love you. Bye.